Hi and welcome to The Running Channel. I'm Anna and today I'm going to give you a load of tips to get you run commuting. If you're new around here, we upload three videos every week. So make sure you hit that subscribe bell icon below so you get notified when we upload more videos like this one. Running to and from work is a great way to declutter your mind before you get to the office, do something productive with your time and also it's cheaper as well because you're going to save money on commuting so you don't have to put up with public transport that can be late and cramped and also recently stats from Strava showed that running to work is actually faster than driving in some cities too. Now, a lot of planning could go into your run commute to make sure that you're not carrying too much on your back. Have a think about which days you're going to want to run to or from, or maybe both work. And then those other days, you can plan around taking extra kit in and taking dirty kit home. If you plan it right, you might end up actually run commuting with nothing more than just your phone and your keys on you. And if you've got no pockets to put your keys in, nice little trick for that is to tie it around your shoelace, but make sure you tie it tight enough so that it's not going to get lost if it comes undone. Now it might sound obvious, but if you don't have showers at work, then running into work probably isn't going to work for you. So maybe you should try and run home instead. Then you can also not have to worry about having all your dirty kit on you because when you get home, you can just put it straight in the wash. If you are lucky enough to have showers at work, then try stashing your toiletries in a locker or a drawer or something so you've got spares so you don't have to think about carrying those in your backpack while you're running just makes the backpack a little bit lighter that way and if you've got a gym membership then perhaps you could run into work and use the showers at the gym instead you really don't need a load of extra fancy kit in order to run commute just a backpack that you can get pretty cheap will do but one key feature to look out for is to make sure it's got these chest and waist or hip straps that you can do up that'll help evenly spread the weight and stop everything bouncing around. Now for beginners and people who maybe don't have too much storage at work, that kind of thing, then something that's about 20 litres in capacity will do the trick. You can get pretty much anything in there. So I've got my shoes, pop those in a carrier bag and those fit in there. Then you've got all your kit. So if I'm going to run home, then I'll take my kit in with me. Don't forget to pack socks. I always forget socks. Always have to keep a spare in my drawer. So that can go in there. And if you normally take your lunch in as well, you can even just whack your lunch box in, but just be careful that it's really tightly packed in because you don't want it slopping around everywhere and making everything a mess. You might just want to take two days worth of your lunch in on a day that you're not run commuting. So there's the backpacks for you. Some extra things that you could think about as well is so that you don't get caught out with the weather maybe pack a lightweight jacket something that's small and can fold up quite easily in there then if it does rain you've got something to keep you a bit drier and also just have a think about whether it's going to be dark when you run commuting especially in the winter when it's dark in the mornings and in the evenings if you're running in or home from work so you might need to have some reflective gear with you some lights we've got loads of tips on what to wear when you're running in the dark in our video on how to run in the dark you might even need a head torch depending on what route you take you really don't want to get lost when you're running into work so before your first run can you have a look at a map and see where you're going make sure that your route is feasible there are loads of apps that you can use to plot a route like Strava that kind of thing so you can see what roads you're going to be taking as well. Make sure that you have a go at running it on a weekend as well when you haven't got any time pressures and time yourself then and see how long it's going to take you so you've got a rough idea. And it's also really useful to know where your nearest tube stops or train stops or bus stops are along the route in case you do just need to stop and hop on public transport for the rest of the journey. If you live a little bit too far away for a full on run commute, then why not think about breaking it down? Maybe you could run part of the way there and get public transport to the end or get public transport part of the way there and run to the end, whatever works for you. You could even build it up and the fitter you get, you might find that you end up being able to run the whole way. Hopefully that's given you a few tips on how to run commute. Leave us a comment below with any questions or any tips that you've got. And we'll see you next time on The Running Channel.